Invicare standing slings and stand assist slings are designed to work with Invicare stand up lifts. They're designed for residents who can support the majority of their own weight in a standing position. These slings allow full access for quick toileting and everyday transfers. Always check with a physician before selecting a sling. Invicare standing slings are constructed of durable materials that resist deterioration from moisture and laundering. They're constructed of a unique, fully padded fabric that forms a soft yet supportive surface. The soft brushed lining helps prevent sliding for comfort and skin protection. And its stretch resistant character helps them hold their shape for superior comfort and ease of positioning. Sling sizes are indicated on the labels. Refer to the sling chart in the owner's manual for dimensions. Although one lift will work for most residents, multiple hookup points adjust at different body sizes, it's recommended that each resident be issued their own individual sling that conforms to their weight, medical condition, and type of transfer to be performed. Before you attempt any kind of lift, make sure that you understand the resident's limitations and their ability to assist with the transfer. It's a good idea to communicate with the resident throughout the process. Let them know about each step before you perform it so that the resident is comfortable, relaxed, and can help you in any way that they can. If you explain each step as you work through it, your resident will learn the routine and become comfortable with it. Watch as we position a standing sling for a resident transfer. Before performing the lift, make sure that the bed is at a safe working height for the caregiver. Next, get the resident in a seated position on the edge of the bed. Use the head section of the bed to raise the resident to a seated position. Then, swing their legs over the edge of the bed. Place the standing sling around the resident's torso. Put it around them so the sling label is on top facing the caregiver and the inside where the belt is located is against the resident's body. Position the sling so that it is at the base of the spine and under the arms to a point just below the shoulder blades. The resident's arms must be outside of the sling. Buckle the belt around the resident's waist. Adjust it for a snug but comfortable fit so the resident won't slide out. Then, while one caregiver stays with the resident, the other moves the lift into position. To safely perform any lift, the lift legs must be in full open position. Right, Explain to the resident that they need to place their feet flat on the foot plate while you roll the lift into position. If they are incapable of doing that, lift their feet for them. Roll the lift into position and stop once their knees are securely against the knee pad. Lock the rear casters to secure the lift for attaching the sling. Attach the sling to the lift arms. The straps on the sling have a series of color-coded loops sewn into them. Use the same color loop on both sides and choose the loop that most comfortably attaches without too much slack. This will make sure the patient stays comfortable and stable during the lifting process. Select the appropriate attachment point according to the resident's height. This resident is 5 feet 9 inches, so the medium attachment points are used. Attach the straps from outside the lift arm. And use the same color straps for both arms. They must be attached so they rest flush against the attachment spindle and clear of the attachment knob. Put your hands on the black. Instruct the resident to hold on to the hand grips on both sides of the lift. Relax and to lean back into the sling. The resident can now be transferred. Transferring a resident with a rose lift is similar. Where the procedure varies from the reliant lift is in the attachment of the straps. The arms on a rose lift have a single attachment point at the end of the lifting arm.